up tricksters, my name is Charlatan and today I'm going to teach you how to use aimlab for Valorant what is aimlab and is it any good for FPS video games so oh, oh, I'm done from this dancing man Whew. let's give an answer to all of these questions first we need to start with the elephant in the room are you the aimlab partner Charlatan yes this video has been sponsored by aimlab but every single opinion and statement about this AIM software is fully unbiased and my own personal. I wanted to do this video regardless of any partnership with them, but they were kind enough to take me in their creators program, so collaboration happened. This partnership will allow me to set up everything for some future content that you are going to love. I've been recommending ALAB since 2018 to almost everyone and anyone that I've ever coached in CSGO and now in 2020 in Valorant. I've successfully coached over 500 people in CSGO and currently I'm sitting at around 100 unique people in Valorant in just over two months. You can check everything about my coaching and my approach on my official Discord server down in the description below and website for merch, coaching and some free esports slash gaming knowledge is gonna be live in October probably as well. Free esports and gaming knowledge? Hmm, you don't know what is charlatano papito preparing for you. <laughs> it's gonna be so good, man. It's gonna be so good. The only reason why I'm doing personal coaching at the moment is so that I can hire people to work with me on future projects for this community, YouTube videos and live streams. So buckle up, everybody. The road is gonna be bumpy. And of course, this whole YouTube channel is a free coaching course, basically, like uh, with a lot of bad memes, cringy jokes, and my personality slash experience as the topping. Now, the second question I received a lot from you, my friends, is AimLab good for Valorant and FPS video games? And one question that can also fit in that category is, should I use aim trainers at all? If your goal is to improve the raw aim in Valorant and FPS video games, I highly recommend you to use aimlab inside of the actual games like Valorant, Rainbow Six, PUBG, CSGO and other FPS titles, you should be focused more on your movement, game knowledge, game sense, map awareness and how to use the particular guns to their full potential, specifically training shooting techniques like one tapping, burst firing and spraying. All of these things you should be practicing in custom maps, practice range and that much. Playing ranked games and unrated matches 24-7 will teach you absolutely nothing. In those game modes you're implementing all the things and knowledge that you've got in places that I've previously mentioned. When you're playing a ranked match, adrenaline is pumping and your main focus is on winning that game, not exercising your peaking technique, shooting style or how to throw Sage Slow Orb from Haven to Split. The simple reason behind this is that there isn't enough focused isolated exercises and repetition when it comes to training your FPS skills inside of ranked games. All of this you should have learned before getting into game. And remember to do at least one VOD review daily. I'm going to explain VOD reviewing in some of my future videos because I see a lot of people don't understand the logic behind it and how you can do it when you cannot record them yourself. So let's go back to the main question. Is AimLab good for FPS video games? And the answer is obviously yes it is extremely useful in aim trainers like aim lab you can focus much better on your aim specific problems like reflexes speed accuracy flicks tracking etc here is one very simple rhetorical question for you is it better to do 50 flicks in valorant deathmatch in five minutes or 500 flicks in five minutes of aim lab you go run five miles i will run 50 miles let's see who will burn more calories simple as that. Everything that I teach people inside and outside of the gaming and esports world is also directly impacted by my knowledge in fitness and bodybuilding industry. If it wasn't for the corona, I wanted to do my first Man Physique competition this year, but instead of that I turned into Blobman and Valorant has overtaken my body. The whole point about this is that I'm implementing a lot of knowledge about human anatomy and psychology into gaming as well, and everything that I'm teaching people is backed up by some logic or something that I've personally used to improve. Which directly leads us to our third question that we need to answer and that is when and how much should you 
actually be using AimLab. I hate when people say that AimLab is the gym. No, AimLab is a very useful tool inside of our gaming gym. Our gym consists of ranked matches, that match, practice range, custom maps, and AimLab is very heavy dumbbell for our biceps and triceps. There are two ways how you can utilize AimLab correctly. First, you can look at AimLab as the warm-up tool, or you can look at it as the full training program to fix your problems and make you more consistent, regardless of your skill levels. The best way to use this aim trainer is if you incorporate both sides of it. So what I recommend to people and what I love to do is I split my gaming sessions in three parts. I play one or two games at mornings, one to three games at evening and one to five games at night. Between each playing sessions I have at least two hours of break. Before each session I will use AimLab as the warm-up tool for 10 to 15 minutes just to get my fingers, wrist and arm into that flow state. Your warm-up should never be longer than 20 to 30 minutes. After that mark it is not a warm-up anymore, it is basically the full training. You will exhaust yourself for no reason and you will be unable to play at your full potential. Especially don't tax yourself so much at mornings, like it's just pointless. In the mornings you should always be doing basic training routines and movements to get ready for your day. After I play my last session I use AimLab for the full training routine. That routine is usually always different and it purely depends on my personal feeling and self-reflection of that day. I'll try to see what was I lacking in terms of aim that specific day and I'll work on fixing it. This training routine usually lasts for 30 to 60 minutes and it is always at the end of my gaming sessions and right before I'm going to sleep. Also, I never spend my whole day at the PC. Inside of my day, I always go to gym, hang out with my friends, edit videos, make new content, induce creativity, coach people, go to airsoft, karting, do a bit of photography, drifting, etc. My days are filled with different dopamine levels, so that I'm always ready to perform at the top level in Valorant at any point of time, both mentally and physically. And one more rule that I have is that I never play video games if I'm not feeling it or I'm simply tired. Instead of that, I'll be doing something else, exercising inside of Valorant, VOD reviewing or practicing my aim inside of AimLab. Now, why do I do my aim training program in AimLab right before I'm going to sleep? There is a lot of science behind everything that I do in both life and gaming, but I really don't want to bore you with these things. To simplify it a bit, when you're sleeping, your body is rebuilding muscles, synapses and basically itself. So if you learn something new right before you're going to bed, you're going to build much better memory or muscle memory for that particular task. If you do 30 to 60 minutes training program routine in AimLab and then go to sleep, your brain will soak in all of that juicy information much faster and it will create much stronger muscle memory. The next question that I get a lot is what is my personal AimLab warm-up routine? What are my personal high scores? What is my AimLab training routine? And is this my main AimLab account? When this video reaches 2000 likes, I'm finally going to share with you my personal warm-up playlist for Valorant in AimLab and also different training program routines that can help you with improving aim and staying consistent in any FPS video game. I have different playlists for different types of problem and I'm rotating them and using them accordingly to what I think I'm lacking at the moment. And is this my main Steam account? Of course it's not, I'm just using this account to make videos, warm up on streams, play with you and mainly I'm just playing wrist shot on this account simply because it's extremely fun. My main account is the one I used in CSGO slash PUBG and for my real life friends only, but I'll copy paste all the playlists and routines on this account very very soon. I was just a bit lazy XD, <laughs> like what can I say. Fifth question that we need to put to rest is how much can AimLab actually improve you with good exercises and focused training? I was professional PUBG and CSGO player, I reached Grandmaster in Overwatch, I was ranked 1 battalion player in my country on face it i played quake live on semi pro level i have over 6000 hours in cs 1.6 and now i reached radiant in every act of valorant so far and i was 86th player in terms of average combat score on blitz app in the world but in june my average headshot percent over four of my valorant accounts was only 
12.1%, which is extremely low considering I have over 20,000 hours of experience in FPS video games. But there are different reasons for this. My playstyle usually relies on good tactics, strategies and big brain plays. I usually catch my enemies off guard anyways and I play 80% of rounds with shotguns, SMGs, heavies and snipers, so my rifles and pistols suffer a lot in Valorant. With a good training routine inside of Aimlab and Valorant as well, I was able to upgrade that percent from 12.1 to 15.3, which means that I had around 26% upgrade in just 2 months of consistently using this AIM trainer, and I also started using Vandal and Phantom much more than before. Your improvement percent purely depends on you and how good is your training program and routine for a specific problem, but as you can see, even if you are a veteran FPS player like I am, you always have more more room to improve in some areas and you can always improve something. Skill ceiling and slumps can always be broken. Sixth question is one of the last one before we actually jump into Aimlab and that is why Aimlab Charlatan? First it's simply free to use. If you are a teenager or just simply don't want to waste any money online, Aimlab is the solution for you. All you need to do is go into the link down in the description below, aimlab.pro slash charlatan with 7, create your Steam account and download Aimlab for free. Second reason why I use Aimlab it's because of simplicity and it's extremely user friendly. Everything is clean and easy to use without any additional overthinking. Third reason is simply because they have very good way of tracking your data and they are taking that data to give you tips on which things you should focus improving much more. And the fourth reason is personal ranking system to compete against yourself and in general leaderboard to compare yourself to other players. Now let's talk about what Aimlab is offering to you as a Valorant and FPS player. First at home screen you can see all of their social media where you can follow them. You can join their official Discord community if you have some issues or questions or you can also join my official Discord server if you want to hire me as a coach or chill with tricksters of course. There is option to submit bugs if you find them and there are usually some challenges where you can play and compete against other professional esports players and try to beat their high scores in different aimlab game modes. At home screen you can also find your personal rank that is only being displayed to you, so you are always trying to become a better version of yourself from yesterday and to improve. In workshop you can find playlists, custom maps and exercises from other community members and in my next video about aimlab I'm going to share with you some of my personal exercises for Valorant. At playlist you can create your own personal training routine in aimlab that you love to perform as a warm-up or full-on training mode. And in task you can find all of the Aimlab's training routines sorted by a certain aim technique that you want to practice. So if you feel that your flicks are not on point you can simply press on flicking and practice flick tasks for an example. Every single aiming technique is being covered in Aimlab task bar. And also at the bottom of Aimlab's home screen we have settings tab where you can customize your settings to suit you for the particular game that you're playing. These are my personal settings for Aimlab that I also use in Valorant when it comes to audio, graphics, controls, crosser, game and keybinds. In controls at in-game profile you can actually choose which game settings do you want to replicate in Aimlab and simply copy paste your settings from that game. I've obviously chosen Valorant in this example and make sure that FOV is 103 as in Valorant. Once you copy paste all of your Valorant settings into Aimlab, you're ready to fire fry, my friends. In training bar, you can customize some of these tasks and routines for your personal needs, and you can also see your personal training data to see how consistent you are when it comes to training your aim in this software daily. In videos bar, you can find some interviews and guides from other content creators and Aimlab partners, and hopefully this charlatan's video as well. Aimlab, I'm watching it too. Do we have a deal? Yes, yes. In custom bar, you can custom Customize tasks, weapons, playlist, gray box, and workshop. I already explained that you can customize every single task to suit your personal needs. You can create your own playlist so you can focus on a particular aiming problem that you have in Valorant maybe, and you can share your playlist and maps with other community members via workshop, or simply find my own playlists and practice routines very very soon. In gray box you can customize background of the maps and tasks that you are playing, and in weapons you can actually replicate 
and recreate guns from other video games. So for example, you can replicate and create Phantom's Recall and Spray from Valorant and practice it in Aimlab as well. In scores, you can compare your own performance in tasks and with particular guns against other Aimlab users. I would definitely recommend you to not stress yourself too much with these high scores and ranks. You're using Aimlab so that you can reach Radiant in Valorant and improve and fix your aiming problems. For an example, my highest score in Gridshot was only 80 or 90,000 and I can still reach Radiant in Valorant at any given point of time. And now in store you can support Aimlab via buying some skins and packs. I think it's a good way to support their hard work and dedication on this software since it's fully free to use on Steam. And the profile is what makes Aimlab so special to me. I love this. The in test data you can see your overall lifetime performance while doing some kind of a routine and in skill section of your profile you can actually see what things are doing bad and in what things are you performing well so you can focus on fixing your core aiming issues i also personally like the inside section of this tab where aimlab ai software will tell you on which things you need to work in order to improve your aim faster for an example on this content account because obviously this is not my main aimlabs account which i already disclosed i did only a few of grid shots and spider shots to record a few videos. But based only on 10 to 15 tasks, AI software was able to determine that I'm lacking the ability to consistently kill and aim at the targets that appear on my left side of the screen. I was very surprised how accurate this data was based only on a few of tasks that I did in Aimla because I already knew even without this software that my left side is my main weakness and that's why I avoid engaging enemies in Valorant from right to left because my left licks are poo poo kaka basically and I'm trying to improve that with some custom tasks that I created in Aimlabs. So I must say that the insights and tips that they are giving to players inside of Aimlab are pretty good accurate and I love them. And that concludes this video my friends. When this video reaches 2000 likes I'm going to share with you my own personal playlist and custom training routines that I'm performing in Aimlab in order to fix my aim techniques in Valorant. Also leave down in the comments do you want to see my whole gaming and training routine? For example when do I wake up, when do I play, when do I practice, how do I practice, when do I use Aimlab, when do I use that much etc. For now I'm make sure to hit that subscribe, turn on those goddamn notifications, ping that bell icon so you don't miss any new content from me, myself, Charlatano. Down in the description you have other social media where you can follow me for some future content and announcements. And also, I'm streaming every single Wednesday, Friday and Sunday from 7pm Central European Summer Time. You can also join my official Discord server if you wanna chill a bit, so check out my Valorant settings or hire me as your personal coach until I finish the official website. I'm yours, one and only Warden of the Tricksters community. Thank you for watching and shock dart.